so let's check why this truck doesn't start and this is a Bronco 2 1987 Bronco 2 with the 2.9 liters okay so let's check it I'm gonna jump the, right here the switch the switch so there's no way I can go over there and crank it so I'm gonna jump it right here this this one comes from the switch so I'm gonna put my my remote remote starter voy a poner mi mi botón remoto para poderle dar marcha aquí tiene mucho tiempo que no trabajo en este tipo de carros pero de vez en cuando sale uno así como este now connected on the one that comes from battery or on the battery ok, se lo podemos conectar aquí en el cable positivo de la batería right there right there, now let's see uh, make sure it's in neutral in, inside there let's check it out, it's in neutral right now but uh, let's check it out because this one is a standard truck, a standard car or standard or manual transmission better say it. because now the standard is the automatic today's today's cars okay make sure this one is neutral see neutral right there so we can start it over there or we can crack it because it's not starting voy a darle marcha see okay right there it's not cranking it's not it's not starting it's cranking but it's not starting okay so now let's check the first thing we're gonna eliminate or we're gonna check if it's a fuel related problem or if it's a spark related problem if it's a fuel related problem I'm gonna put some starting fluid through the air inlet and then see if it if it runs it's a fuel problem if I put the starting fluid and it doesn't run a little bit we got a, a, a spark problem Voy a checar primero, voy a eliminar a ver si es gasolina o si es chispa la que necesita. Una forma sencilla de saber es poniéndole a arrancador ahí un poco, arrancador en el donde va el, 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 el aire. Y si prende, bueno, entonces tenemos un problema de gasolina. Si no prende, entonces tenemos un problema de chispa. ¿okay? Eso es para eliminar una cosa y la otra. ¿okay? So let's do it. Vamos a checarlo. Let's check it. Okay, so let's put some um, right here in the air inlet. Let's put some carburetor cleaner starting fluid. Okay. We can put this carburetor cleaner or starting fluid. Don't put too much, see? And don't put too long. Just one or two times. And that's it. Like too much because uh, the starting fluid it dries the, the pistons in there and there's no oil and it get the the engine can get damaged it can freeze you can, you can freeze the engine with this one if you keep adding and adding and the engine is trying to to start if it's gonna start if it's gonna start, it's gonna start at the first time. See? If it doesn't start at the first time, don't keep put you know, applying that starting fluid. No le pongan mucho aquí. Ese porque pueden amarrar el motor si le siguen poniendo mucho. Seca los, los, los pistones adentro, los cilindros. Como no tiene aceite, se amarra. Si Después puede amarrar el motor. Si no prende la primera. Ya no le estén echando porque no va a prender. ¿sí? Eh, en este carro, si es diésel, pues es diferente, ¿verdad? Gasolina es diferente. Tiene que prender, le echan y tiene que prender. Si no prendió, tal vez una o dos veces. Si no prendió, es, es otra cosa, es chispa. ¿sí? No estén ahí con esto echando. Echándole, echándole, okay? so I'm gonna put some right here. Looks 
got oil inside here. In a safety. Let me check the, the oil. We have to cut the safety. Let me check if there's oil inside the engine. Sometimes the customer, the customer doesn't have any oil in the in the engine. And this one looks like it's real low. Got plenty of oil, enough to run the engine. Now let me put uh, this starting uh, Be careful with these cans too. Like I just put it right here on the battery, but be careful because uh, if you put this one like right here on this part, it's grounded. The battery's grounded. The battery terminal, the positive battery terminal is right here. And if you put this one right here, it makes a short, this one can explode. Okay? Tengan cuidado también con estos botes. No los pongan cerca de la batería. Como ahorita lo puse aquí, ¿verdad? Pero, se debe poner como aquí en la batería porque la carrocería está a tierra, ¿verdad? Y aquí está la terminal positiva de la batería. Si yo pongo aquí esto así y le hago corto aquí, se puede cerrar este y puede explotar. ¿sí? Esa es otra cosa que tengan cuidado. Tengo un bote de spray, cualquier bote de spray, WD-40, cualquier otro, tiene casa dentro y explota. Ok, so let's put some right here. ahí va con eso que le, que le echamos ok right there a ver si sale gasolina ahí have a right right here on hand ¿Sí? so you can check in here this, this cap if you don't have a pressure tester a few pressure tester you can just push the right here the valve more pueden nada más picarle aquí a la valvulita y si sale gasolina pues tiene presión de gasolina ¿verdad? pero ahorita ya miramos que el problema no es la gasolina es la chispa que no, no, no está prendiendo supónganle una garrita aquí alrededor y le van a picar ahí now let's let's, let's push that ok let's push it with a small screwdriver see if, it, if gas comes out comes, comes out right here vamos a ver si sale aquí gas si ¿Sí? I'm gonna crank it it should it should send gas right here, okay? 
See, right there is the gas. Right there. So we have gas. We have gas. Si sí tenemos gas, como vieron le, le di marcha poquito y si sí salió gas aquí. So vamos a esperar que se seque aquí. Si, sí, keep a rag on hand. So you can check. If you don't have a pressure tester, if you have pressure tester, put the pressure tester, ok? Ok. Now we, we know that we have fuel and because we put the we apply the starting fluid in here it, it won't crank it won't uh, start so we know that gas is not the problem okay. so let's check the spark ya checamos ahí tiene gas con cuidado chequenle con una garrita con cuidado que no les vaya a saltar también a los ojos si tienen un test de presión para checar la presión del gas pues en el hospital yo lo hago aquí nada más así porque pues ya miré que no prendió con el starting fluid es un problema de, de, de chispa so, vamos ahora a checar la chispa a ver por qué no está saliendo chispa el primer lugar en este carro es un carrito que nada más tenía un, una bobina vamos a checar la corriente que le llega a la bobina ok this type of cars only have uh, one coil so right here is the coil ¿Sí? aquí está la bobina vamos a checar aquí si nos llega corriente aquí si nos llega corriente ok si no nos llega corriente entonces vamos a tener un problema en el switch ok so let's check it out vamos a checar aquí qué está pasando si nos llega corriente ok ok um, the first thing we need to check if we got current on one of these wires and we got 11 11.6 volts the next step we got current right here next step it looks like somebody put this Where is not making good contact? It comes off so easy. Let me remove this uh, connector right here. Let me quitar esta conexión porque aquí no está bien conectado esto. Okay, this one, this one is not making good contact. 2.7 this side so this one is the one supposed to have current see this is the one with current so let me check and this one have resistance it's uh well not resistance but 2.2 0.7 volts so let me connect this one back so we'll connect this one but here they put a rope very bad so they put this hose on top of this all these wires and it was not making this wires on top of this all these wires this wires the, the hose is pulling they are pulling these wires down so okay okay right here is bent mm. okay, let me put these wires let me put this one back in here let me connect this here okay let me connect it Before we connect this one, I'm gonna put the noise light right here. It should blink. Okay, voy a ponerle aquí la luz 
este se llama luz noid luz noid light es un poquito para checar si ya hay pulso aquí si hay pulso aquí tenemos una bobina que no sirve ok i'm checking this one with the key on ¿eh? estoy checando esto con la llave puesta para enfrente ahora aquí voy a checar si hay si hay pulso aquí And let me check if there's pulse right here si tengo pulso aquí va a ser la bobina mala si tengo no tengo pulso aquí va a ser el pick up coil o el mojo a checar ahorita let's check right here Oops, it's cold okay. push this one in right here okay, let me crank it déjame darle marcha we should have both right here when I crank the engine okay. we don't have both So that means we have a, a bad a bad pickup coil. Pero but we showing current right here so we need to make sure this one is making good contact. effect switch malo we have a bad hole effect switch we should have bolts right here on this one aquí tenemos que tener pulso en este Lo vamos a checar por qué no hay pulso si es el pickup coil o es un alambre un alambre que ha uh, quebrado ok so let me check Another thing you can check if it if it's current right here. It's supposed to be current right here. But well, if you don't have the noise light, you need to check right here on the coil and check if it's getting support out of here. It, another way to check if the coil is good, you could put a ground wire from here. Uh, uh, the, um, say touch it like the ground and see if this one works okay okay see we got uh, power running through the coil See, that means that the coil, it's, it's good. See? Tenemos saliendo corriente de este otro lado. Traje este otro tester para más fácil porque este está muy grande y no entra aquí. Pero sí, como quiera para que miren la luz. See? This one, it, sh it shows 12 volts right here. But, so you can see it with this one, with the light. See, right there. We have current right here and current right here. We should have, right here, we should have bolts. When we start the, the engine, we should have ground, bolt, uh, ground uh, pulses. See? It's not. It doesn't have any bolts. But if you put a one ground, wire and right here you, you could have a spark right here let me show you I'm gonna put this tester right here and then I'm going to 
good brown right here just touch it touch it touch it and then it's gonna send spark right here see to check the coil to check if it's something else like the pickup coil I'm gonna touch it right here with the ground wire right here voy a tocar ahí con este cable conectado a tierra I'm gonna connect this one to the ground right here Touch this wire right here, and it should have current right here. See? see? Did you see the spark right here? See? Let me touch it right there. It's not so. Let me this one to the ground. It's not making good ground. Let me touch it. See the, the spark right here? Oops. See the spark right here. It's sparked right here because see right there. See? Now there's no way you can see on the video. Maybe right there. That means the coil is good. Eso quiere decir que la bobina está buena. Miren aquí la chispa. Aquí también hace chispa porque estoy haciendo contacto. Pero miren aquí. Este. Look. See? See the spark right there? Oops. So the coil is okay. We have no signal from the pickup coil. No tenemos señal del pickup coil. Como ven aquí le estoy poniendo tierra en el cable que viene del de allá del distribuidor es la estrellita que va ahí en lugar de los platinos es esa estrellita que tiene un imán en medio ¿Sí? so, eso es lo que tenemos mal en este carro y vamos a tener que cambiarlo si sí, we're gonna have to remove that distributor maybe sometimes we just need to remove the, the crown on top and then install the new we can install the new the new uh, pickup coil without removing the distributor just we re need to remove the crown see i'm gonna remove i'm gonna remove the cover the the pick the distributor cap and then i'm gonna check right there the coil the pickup coil okay so let me remove the cap it's gonna be a little bit of work because it's right on the back that's that's gonna be tomorrow because right now it's late. Eso lo vamos a tener que checar mañana. Okay, porque ahorita ya es un poquito tarde. Okay, uh, last night, yesterday we checked this uh, this truck. We checked this coil, and uh, it's sending current. See, this coil it's sending spark but that um, pickup coil right there inside the distributor is not is not sending signal to the to the coil so the coils can send current to the distributor see it's inside the distributor sending this uh, signal to the coil and the coil sending back to the distributor so the distributor can send the current to the cylinders to each cylinder so right now I'm gonna remove that cover and I'm gonna check if it turns and if it turns I'm gonna replace that pickup coil because the guy said it was making a noise I didn't hear any noise and if uh, maybe the timing chain 
broke off something so I don't know vamos a checar porque el chavo dice que no que se le oía un ruido vamos a checar la señal del, del del distribuidor a la bobina y de la bobina va para atrás al, al distribuir a la tapa y de la tapa distribuye ya los cilindros la corriente la hace más grande ya hace la chispa y prende el carro dijo el chavo que había oído un ruido no sé ahorita voy a checar si gira el el rotor entonces está bien lo de la cadena del tiempo pero si no gira puede ser que la cadena se haya roto se brincó esté roto los engranes de la de la cadena no sé ahorita vamos a checar ok so let's uh, remove this part these wires uh, I'm gonna mark them I don't wanna I don't wanna lose the The firing order. So I'm gonna mark them. This is on this side, the, the passenger side. It's the one, two, three, four, five, six on the driver's side. Okay. Aquí en este lado está el número uno. En este lado el dos y el tres. En el lado del pasajero. En el lado del. del chofer va el va el 4, 5 y 6 ok y aquí en la en la tapa en el cover we have a mark we have, we have a mark that says number one that's where it goes connected number one ok Aquí tenemos en la tapa una marca, un número 1, ahí es donde va el 1, ok. De todos modos vamos a marcar nuestros cables para no perdernos, ok. I'm gonna disconnect, I'm gonna remove the, the cover, so I'm gonna mark the wires, ¿sí? I'm gonna... So this one is gonna be the number 1, este va a ser el número 1 este lado vamos a poner la 1 number 1 like I say the cap has got a mark it's got a number 1 let me pull it out ok list it this is the number 1 Number two on the cap two if you want. It's gonna be the number two. Okay, right there. Now the number three. It's the number three. It's better to mark the cap, the wire, so you know you can connect them easy. Okay, this is the three. mark on the, on the cover it's the number three okay. now let's remove this other side and this one is the number four the number four after the one is the number four Let's put number four right here. Number four. 
you can mark the, the cable the cable if you want if you don't want to put tape actually this is numbered but it's changed see it's got the number five and it's not in the number five it's on the numbers four En el cable tiene el número 5, pero este es el número 4. No sé por qué lo conectaron así. Este es el número 5, el que voy a quitar ahorita. This is the number 5. Okay, I'm gonna put a mark right here. Number 5. Number 5 and number 5 on the cable. It's got a mixed wires. Tiene cables de todo tipo. Alguien le cambió cables o le puso cables de otros. Este es el número 5. Remark 5. Ok, now the number 6. The last one is the number 6. This one on this side. Ok. Let's put a mark on the cover. On the distributor cap. 6. Ok. Remove it. Mark this one six. Vamos a marcar los cables de una vez porque no queremos que se pierda la. Ahorita tenemos que hacer otra marca. Si tenemos que sacar el distribuidor, vamos a hacer otra marca. Vamos a hacer otra marca en el, en el distribuidor. Este es el número seis. Six. Okay, now we got the the uh, clock wires disconnected. Tenemos los cables de la bujía desconectados, vamos a quitar la tapa. Ok. There's no way you can see because it's way in there. Let me put my, my camera over here. See if you can see it. Right, it's right here. Ok, let's remove the, 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 the bolts. Be careful with those bolts because sometimes they got broken. Cuidado con esos tornillos porque a veces se rompen. Se oxidan mucho esos tornillitos y se rompen. Se rompían hace 30 años, imagínense ahorita. Oh, the distributor is so loose. ¿Sí? The distributor is loose. Somebody... Somebody tried to check it, maybe, and got this distributor loose. See if it's got the retaining. Yeah, it's got the retaining. Retaining thing. Okay. Vamos a quitar el la tapa no tiene que ver que esté suelto ahorita vamos a arreglarlo si no importa si esta cosa está loose we're going to fix it that's why they bought it brought it to us or to me ok let me remove this somebody has been working on this Okay, let me remove the other bolt on the other side. Estamos quitando el otro tornillo del otro lado. Ahorita los tornillos van saliendo muy bien. So. Ok. Let's remove the cap. Vamos a quitar la tapa. Quitarla, sacarla de aquí. Sí, aquí está la tapa. Quita la marca que les digo. Aquí tiene un número uno. Este. Y el número uno está bien, bien oxidado, el poste. They're very corroded. The one, yeah, the one more, the one, it's the only one. That it's, oh, this one too. So they're corro corroded. So anyways, okay, so let me, right here, 
See, right here, as it is this distributor loose, we can turn the key on and we can uh, and turn this distributor like that and it should spark, should spark the, the coil should spark. ¿Sí? Aquí también podemos hacer para probar el, 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 si el coil, si el pickup coil de aquí adentro del distribuidor está dañado y ya checamos que el, la bobina está bien. Para checar también podemos girar aquí esto. ¿Sí? Lo podemos girar y podemos hacer que, que haga que pase la aquí en el espacio que tiene y podemos ver si funciona o no funciona la la chispa el pick up coil okay, let me remove this this one and right there okay let me check so right here is the bend the, the, the space like Let me, let me test it, let me check it. Okay, but this one is the one is bad, this, this uh, coil, uh, pickup coil. Okay, vamos a check, voy a poner la llave y voy a ver si echa chispa. Okay, vamos a ver. All right, I got my spark tester. Let me, oh, I got another one here. On, okay, let me disconnect this one. I got two, I got three testers. And I got, okay. Uh, I forgot that I have another one here. So I'm gonna connect this one to the coil. Let's connect this one on the coil. And this is the other end. I'm just gonna make this one. I'm just gonna make this one just to show you. But I know that the pickup coil is not working, so I'm just doing this just to show you another another method or another way you can check the coil too. So I'm gonna put my tester, I got this one connected to the coil. The key is on. Now this one I'm gonna put it to the ground. To ground. Voy a poner este a tierra aquí. Ok. Y aquí tiene que hacer chispa ahorita que yo mueva aquí el distribuidor. Ve, pero si no... Well, see, I can hear the... I can hear the, the fuel pump that is working. That means the pickup coil is working. What is not working is the module. See? All right. Yeah, the module is the one that is bad. See? We have gas. Okay. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check if that uh, if that distributor turns. I'm gonna crank the engine right now. Yeah, it's turning. It's turning. Okay. So I know that the pickup coil is working now. So the pickup coil is it's working. What is not working is the module. Sí. Ya ahorita acabo de checar otra vez con el aquí. Van a oír, le voy a poner aquí el esto. Okay, I'm going to put the the phone well, the camera over here. And you can hear that relay, it's clicking. This is for the fuel pump. This is the fuel pump relay, okay? I'm going to move right there the distributor like that. You can hear the click, see? That means the pickup coil is working, see? Hear it? Okay. This This is the fuel pump relay. Este es el, 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 el relevador de corriente de la bomba. So, como oyen, oigan, voy a mover aquí el distribuidor. I'm gonna move the distributor. Sí. This one and this one. It's working. This one over here. Sí. So what we have bad it's a module. Tenemos mal el módulo. El módulo de ignición. We have a bad ignition module. I'm going to replace the module and the pickup coil together, ¿sí? Voy a reemplazar el módulo y también voy a reemplazar 
el este el pickup coil porque ya está viejo también y no quiero que al rato venga y me diga oye la troca se me descompuso otra vez si sí, so I'm gonna replace both parts right here voy a reemplazar dos las dos partes aquí sí. que es el módulo este de módulo de distribución que va aquí adentro y el pickup coil Hall effect switch